Hey you guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into another video. Today's video, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be telling you guys about some jerseys that I have on my 2023 collection wish list. Obviously, if you guys don't know already, I do have a goal as a jersey collector to at least have one jersey of every single team. More specifically, so when I make videos talking about teams, I can at least wear a jersey for them, which is kind of the main goal. But obviously, I still would like to have at least one jersey from every single team in the NHL. So I'm obviously not going to list one jersey from every team in the NHL, or at least the remaining ones I have. But in this video, I have seven jerseys here that I want bad. Like I really, really do want that these are over some of the other teams that are, have jerseys that I don't really want. For example, Detroit, I don't have a jersey for them. Uh, Ottawa, I don't have a jersey for them. And Philadelphia, I don't have a jersey for them. There's lots of others, but those are three teams that come to mind here where I don't really want a jersey for them. Like I'll get it in the future to complete the collection, but that's probably gonna be some of the last ones I get just because I don't really like any of their jerseys currently. So these jerseys, I believe only two out of the seven I have here are teams that I don't have. So those ones might come first, but the rest of them, the other five, I definitely still want, even though I already have jerseys for them. So I did one of these videos a while back, but obviously things change and my opinion has changed and the jerseys I want to collect has definitely changed. So if you guys haven't seen that one, it is far back. So you might be able to find it and try to do a comparison. I'm sure some of them are still the same, but there's been new jerseys out there that I definitely would like to get. Before we hop into it though, I should definitely specify in saying this is a wish list of jerseys that I think are realistic to get. Obviously, I would still like to have like the Vegas Gold Knights first reverse retro I'd like to have. Montreal's first reverse retro I would like to get back even though I sold it. Uh, stuff like that I probably will never be able to get just because it's going to be so much money that most of these are all realistic jerseys that I should be able to get at some point. So that's kind of the main thing here. I'm not going to say any jerseys that I just know for a fact I'll never be able to get because that's pointless. If you guys would like to see one on like my rare wish list, then show support on this video and I can make one of jerseys that I probably won't ever be able to get, but I would love the chance to. Now let's start off with the first team here on this list, and that's the Pittsburgh Penguins Winter Classic. This one's kind of almost off the list on the fact that it is going to be hard to find. I've looked everywhere for this jersey, at least for Canadian stores. It's impossible to find. The only place I can find is on the NHL shop, and they have this thing listed for like $300. I'm not paying $300 Canadian for this jersey when I could buy it. Another jersey off Ben H for like 160 or buy another jersey on like anywhere else, a Canadian NHL shop for 200. It's just not happening. So that's tough, but I know Sports K definitely has it. I'm still gonna be paying around 240 for it there because they have like $30 shipping to Canada. But if I could find this thing somewhere for a decent price, I would love to snag it. Who knows? I'll just have to keep my eyes open, but I love this jersey so much. Like you guys might have saw from my outdoor video, my ranking outdoor jerseys. I love this jersey. I don't know what it is. I think it's the cream color, maybe in the black. Something about it I just love, especially with numbers. Next up, I've been a big fan of this jersey for a long time. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you would know how much I love this jersey. And that is the Dallas Stars alternate jersey. This neon thing, I love so much. I can't explain why. I just do. Like the look of it, I love. The customization on this is incredible as well. I don't get a lot of jerseys customized, but this could be one that I do in the future just because I think the customization kit on this adds so much. I just love how much the lime green pops on the black. I think it's super sharp and super clean. And uh, I like the logo too. I think the logo is very nice too. All around, I've wanted this jersey for a long time. And uh, I think it's overdue that I get it. Next up is the St. Louis Blues away jersey. This one is quite hard to find. I know Sports K does have it. So again, I would have to pay a little bit more than retail for it. But I think it would be worth it. It's a pretty rare jersey. A lot of people like it. I know away jerseys can be more specifically hard to find. So if I could find it, that would be crazy, especially if it's not Sports K, if it's somewhere a little bit cheaper. I think this jersey is nice. And as a Blues fan, I would love it to kind of like help complete my jersey list for the St. Louis Blues. I think it's the only current jersey in Adidas that the Blues wear that I do not have. So I, I definitely needed to complete that list. Next up, the Carolina Hurricanes away jersey. This is probably one of my top away jerseys in the league. I absolutely love this thing, as you guys know. 
And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of text logos, especially diagonal text logos. I just love it. I don't know why. I just love it. I love the look of it, especially on this one with the C having the warning flag squares in there. I just think it looks super cool. Like I, I love that a lot, especially the texture on the bottom too with the classic Carolina kind of pattern in there. It's super sharp. It's a sweet jersey. Another away jersey here, we have the New York Rangers, and I love this jersey. I don't currently have a Rangers jersey, so this one might be up there as one of the next ones I need to get here. I like the laces on it, but my favorite part are the shoulders. I just think the shoulders are absolutely sick. The striping looks good too, obviously. It's a very classic jersey, the red, white, and blue. I think it looks really good. Again, with the Rangers text down it, I just love that. You guys know me, and I, I just can't stop talking about the shoulders on here. Just look incredible. Now this last one here is probably one I won't get, but I definitely do want it. The only reason I say that is because I already have a few jerseys for this team. I think I have three. Maybe I have three jerseys for this team. I'll have to go back and look, maybe two. And that is the new San Jose Sharks home jersey. And I really like this jersey and why I want it mainly is for the texture on the sleeve in the striping. I think it's gonna look cool. Also, I think the shoulder patch outlined in that white just makes it pop and looks so sick. So it's definitely one I really, really want up on my list. And uh, maybe by the end of the year, I'll be able to get it. So you guys have it. Those are seven jerseys I would like to add in 2023 into my collection. Did I probably just give away all my jersey unboxings in the future? Possibly, but I think I would like to try to get seven jerseys this year, and I would like to try to get at least these seven, I think. I'll try to go off my list, but we'll see. It depends if we find a jersey on sale somewhere. Like I said, I do, at the end of the day, want to have one jersey for every team, so I may branch off of this list here and get something else. Like I've been saying, I wanted that Dallas Stars alternate for so long, still haven't gotten it. So I'm really bad when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, sometimes I just find a jersey I want more, and I go off the board, and I forget about some of these. But hopefully I can get at least a few of these this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd love if you guys subscribed. We're on the road to 1,500. I would love to try to get there soon. I would love to try to hit 2,000 subscribers this year. That's kind of my goal here. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you do. Like the video if you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.